Good morning. It's about 8.45 and I'm on my way to pick up two of my friends who have traveled here from Curacao, my native Curacao. So I'm wearing the hat saying Willemstad. That's of course the capital of Curacao. And so I'm going to take them on an island tour. And uh, this is the perfect time for you to keep on watching because I'm taking you along and you can see for yourself what an island tour with me looks like. They're not prepared that a camera is going to be in their face today, so introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Wesley. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dari. And, and we're about to start this road trip, or actually island tour. It's a road trip, not really. It's going to be done in five minutes. Okay, let's go. <laughs> My friend's accommodation was just nearby, I decided to make this hill our first official stop of the tour. No matter the weather, the view here of the port below and Phillipsburg in the distance is always breathtaking. Next, a quick stop for a coffee and a chat at Honeypot Reserve before we zip on and continue our quick tour of Phillipsburg itself and the many beautiful murals on display. Martin is of course the fact that we're half Dutch and half French and the crossing of the border is always a highlight. me is the same and to make the tour most enjoyable for my guests I always customize it to what my guests are most interested in experiencing but one thing that you can always count on is my homemade rum punch and if you're not into rum punch I'll make sure to have your favorite drink on ice in the back Next stop is an unscheduled one. The iguanas happened to be here this time and there were no tour buses in sight. So we had the iguanas pretty much all to ourselves for a few minutes before a tour on quads pulled up. But let's continue because we have a lot of ground to cover in just five hours. After a quick stop at Orion Beach, we made our way to the cul-de-sac area and stopped at this little pink house, home to the famous Madudu Ram for some rum shopping and rum tasting and of course to pet the cat. on some local rum, it was time for another hilltop stop. Kiki, my ever loyal tour companion, my car, always a champ, got us to the top of this steep hill to see Anguilla in the distance and the beautiful bay of Anse Marcel below. it's a little cloudy today the view here is still impressive now down the hill we go taking in the stunning vistas along the way to our next stop the Grand Cas village first we make our way through this charming little alley to the beach of Petite Plage for a stroll <music> Shoes 
are great for island tours, but make sure you also have some flip-flops with you just in case you want to walk on the beach. Now, Wes and Daddy opted not to take their swimsuits with them, but I always recommend you have one on or at least in your bag just in case you feel like a quick dip. Now onwards with the tour we go and the next stop you may have already seen in my grandka's video. If not, I'll link it below in the description box. Maison de Chocolat is a must stop on my tours. The handmade Belgian chocolates here are so delicious and the chocolate croissant is just to die for. Plus, the owners are some of the nicest people I have ever met. for the highlight of this tour, the village of Grancas and a look under the pier for photos. Lucky for us, the water was exceptionally clear and beautiful on this day. A lot of my guests request this stop after seeing my video of Grancas and the many pictures I have taken over the years that I have posted on my Instagram. And even though it has now become quite a popular spot, it remains my favorite place to show off. It's totally worth it! Totally! <laughs> colorful staircase is another must when in Grand Cas. And since I wanted to introduce my guests to places that I frequent myself in my everyday life, we drove up to this boutique hotel right here in Grand Cas as well. The bar here overlooks the beach and is one of my absolute favorite hangouts. No, this place does not sponsor or collaborate with a traveling island girl in any way, but it is the perfect place to watch the planes land at a Grand Cas airport. West and Daddy wanted to savor the specialty burgers at our own burger bar, Rusty Rocket. It was the perfect end to a perfect day, filled with laughter and fun and great pictures. But what did my friends really think of this tour? My highlights was the um, starting with a cup of coffee at Honey Honey Pot. Yeah. Yes, and then the oh the rum tasting at my Madudu. Madudu. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah for me it was uh, the mural murals um, yes. downtown and uh, those hidden gems uh, and for me also uh, the sweets at uh, Maison Chocolat oh, wow. <laughs> pronouncing yes. correctly that was very very delicious uh, what we saw at Grand Cas very beautiful okay. very very beautiful it was really nice to end up the experience we we had some awesome burgers oh, awesome nice sweet delicious <laughs> at burgers. Rusty Rocket thank you for all the love and experience that we had with you yeah. um, personal experience yes yeah. personal experience yeah we felt did we pampered the, did we mention the rum punch no we oh. can't forget the rum punch but <laughs> We won't give it away. It's it's part of the experience. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it has uh, all kind of secret ingredients uh, from resell. So, uh, but we were in good hands with the traveling island girl. For so sure. So very thankful for that. Looking forward for the next time because we're not done yet with Saint Martin. No. Thank you so much to my beautiful friends Wes and Daddy for agreeing to spend the day with me and to help me show everyone how beautiful St. Martin is and what an island tour with me is truly like. Now if you want to be my next guest on a tour of my island home, please click on the link in the description box below for the details. 
Thank you for watching. My name is Rizal, the Traveling Island Girl. Don't forget to let me know in the comments below what you would like to see next.